So I was taking a look through Reddit the other day and was intrigued to stumble across this. The caption was, scientists have recently recreated what a tech priest blessing a machine would sound like in today's tech, and it came alongside the following video. I must admit I'm not 100% sure what to make of that, with a chorus of many all spexes working all at once there. I can't deny there is something curious and a bit rhythmic to it. I feel like I'd need some extra augmented audio receptors to be able to tune out different bits of that. Thanks to whoever decided to make me into a tech priest though, certainly gave me a smile. As normal, early in the month, I do try and do my channel update video, just a quick talk about what sort of things is coming next on All Specs Tactics, including videos that happen this month, what's coming for the future, and the giveaway announcements for the big channel giveaways monthly. As you might have guessed by the thumbnail now, it seems that All Specs Tactics merch has finally become a thing. For any of those who wanted a t-shirt or hoodie with a channel logo on it, they're now available and links below. I'm perhaps considering this a bit of a trial period for it, and asking for feedback from yourselves. Talking videos first though, this month as ever has been a busy one on the channel. For Warhammer News, Games Workshop have kept some stuff coming, we've had the Tower Codex and the Crute launch box, the Chaos reveals for their new battle forces, and a few fun leaks and rumours such as the printing leaks for the Agents of the Imperium Codex that looks like it's on its way, as well as the new Azamun model. It's perhaps not been relentless with the Games Workshop news though, it has given me a bit of time for some bigger projects, things like every army's tournament stats, a look at some of the strongest and weakest armies in the game, and for videos that seem to have done well, the big one saying every single Warhammer 40k release that's upcoming garnered a lot more attention than I was expecting. I guess there's really quite a lot of stuff going on in the short, medium and long term, maybe it's handy enough to have a big guide. I did quite enjoy that video about Games Workshop kits that were selling well as well, that one was a bit of an interesting and unusual one, hopefully I'll try and make that at least a semi-regular staple on the channel, will be interesting to see how things do in different months, I'm going to guess that different codexes will drive very different units, and it might be interesting to see the data over a longer period of time. I did quite enjoy doing my April Fools video as well, the updated That Guy guide was definitely one that needed to be redone in a bit more style, even my basic video production has come on at least a little bit over the past three years or so. Otherwise, plenty to be done on the channel, and there's lots of other things that I'm looking forward to covering. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll drop a Kill Team Nightmare review, talking through the miniatures contained within in a bit more detail. There's a tactics video on Learn Operatives that's currently on early access on the Patreon page right now. And otherwise, I'm planning a few more unit reviews for Tau, an updated version of the Every Faction's Playstyle video for 10th edition, seeing as that one's out of date for 9th now. And I guess for Games Workshop news on the horizon, the Tau and Crew 4 release with the points drop will be interesting, plus the Custodians and Orcs release is on the horizon too. That's going to be a busy weekend when Games Workshop no doubt drops them both at the same time, and gives me quite a lot of stuff to go at. Channel giveaway is next, and each month on the channel I do post out some really big box sets, the April one is for the upcoming Orcs and Custodians models releases. I can now announce that the winner of those ones are Dead Fish, Darth Inbred, Barcast, Sue Ruki, Shannon Bonham, and Lewis James. I've sent you all a message just now. If you'd be able to get back to me with a delivery address and your choice of battle forces, and they'll be dispatched as soon as Games Workshop release these and I get my orders of them. I'm going to guess that they're not too far down the pipeline given that Games Workshop announced the Custodians and the Orc sets really quite a long time ago now. I'm not sure whether or not it's going to be the Tau and Crew release before them though. With Games Workshop keeping the big Battle Force box sets coming though, it seems appropriate to go for the upcoming Chaos ones for the May giveaway. And given that Games Workshop made them so they were quite compatible with each other without unit overlap, I thought we'd go for three sets of both of those. So for the May giveaway, there's going to be three winners. Each of them will get the Dread Talons box set and the Veterans of the Long War box set. The Dread Talons is the Chaos Battle Force with the Jump Pack Lord, plus Raptors, Cultists, and the Demon Prince. The Veterans of the Long War one is maybe the more core Chaos Force. That'll contain the Lord on foot, the Terminators, Legionaries, Possessed, and Chosen. As ever, with the channel giveaways, there's two equal ways to enter, both of them links down in the video description. You can support the channel on Patreon for any amount, that's the main thing that allows me to make YouTube my full-time thing as well as a few other benefits, like seeing some videos early, you do get automatic entry into these giveaways each and every month, and we'll be keeping the similar size ones coming. Otherwise, you can also enter by supporting the channel on social media completely for free. To do that one, you need to do just all of these three actions, subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the Facebook page linked below. 
then for the actual entry to the giveaway on the Facebook page that appears on the 1st of May, respond to that with a photo of any 40k mini or other imagery, along with your name and the date handwritten within the same photo, the last bit just to deter Facebook bots and spammers. Then, as with this one's one for the Orcs and the Custodies, the draw is done with a random number generator, and that one will be announced in the equivalent video of this one on the 4th of May. The box sets will be posted when I receive my order of them, so there might be a little bit of lag time depending on when Games Workshop actually choose to come out with these. In any case, feel free to check out either the Facebook or the Patreon page, there will be links down in the video description. If you'd like to help support the channel and enter for these giveaways, either via the paid entry or the free one. Slightly in a new progression of YouTube career stuff I suppose, we've got some Auspex Tactics merch on offer. This was always something that I was vaguely thinking I could do at some point in the future, though I feel like the odds are of me actually getting round to it were pretty low, and I have to thank Mr. Mac of Wargame Portal for making this happen. A bit of a trial run of some basic channel merch of t-shirts and hoodies, available from that Wargame Portal shop, the same one that gives the 15% discounts on Warhammer. That one's linked down in the video description below. Just to clearly communicate the offering though, the way that these work is that they're being made and supplied by Printful, essentially a print-on-demand service, and it will be those guys that you're buying from and not myself. Obviously I don't have any sort of expertise as to actually making t-shirts or hoodies or things like that. The idea is that rather than having warehouses of hoodies and t-shirts around, they just make them to order. And they do seem to be one of the industry leaders in the space, able to supply to lots of countries across the world, the UK, USA, Canada, EU... Australia and New Zealand, so it should be a fairly good overlap with where Warhammer things get distributed. As best I can tell, the Trustpilot reviews for them seem to be broadly positive, having a 4.6 out of 5 there, and that does seem to be kind of consistent across the other review platforms as well. I know online reviews aren't everything, though I feel like a few YouTube reviewers who have talked about the positives and negatives between different print-on-demand things do seem to say that they're kind of good. I'm sure that they have various teething issues from time to time, but it does seem that they are an industry leader in that at least. The initial test run of these did seem nice and up to standard at least, though I feel like there might be a little bit of regional variation around the world. I guess they will have different offices with different people maybe doing things not quite to the same standard. It did seem that there were at least a few unhappy reviews on their Trustpilot things among other things. Occasionally things might be printed just a little bit wonky, and their customer service doesn't seem to have a stellar reputation, though they do at least seem to respond to complaints where their posters, even if they might not be super super snappy. I feel like it's kind of important to qualify all that, it is a completely new thing for me, and to be honest I'd much rather play it safe and let people know exactly what they're dealing with, as opposed to just blindly pushing merch at people. In any case, with those caveats out of the way, the trial run is for two basic items, either a t-shirt or a hoodie with the channel logo front and centre, plus the Auspex Tactics name and a YouTube logo on the back or the sleeve. These ones are the t-shirts, looks like Printful does them for around £20 or $24 if you want one, plus around £4 or $5 delivery, and they do have a fair few different variations on offer, and they're on sale at Wargame Portal, linked below. The other basic starter option they have are for hoodies, again with a few different colour variations, either the slightly brave white one with the channel logo like you might see in the videos, otherwise a black one with the colours inverted, and a grey and a sort of camo green one. I feel like my channel colour is maybe showing a bit of its impracticality there. I fully admit that maybe the white one it might not be the most long-lasting with food stains and whatnot. The delivery on the hoodies looks like it's a bit more than the t-shirts, around about £6 in the UK, or $8.50 in the USA. In any case, let me know what you think. Obviously a massive thank you to Mr. Mac at Wargame Portal for making these happen for me. Definitely feels like the sort of thing that I just never would have got round to off my own steam with making the videos all the time. I feel like these are an absolutely great start. I would certainly welcome any criticism or feedback on the designs. A channel logo did seem like the first thing to go for. Not sure if we could try and do something a little bit more quirky or something else a bit more bespoke later. Let me know if you have any other thoughts on that. I guess at some point it could be fun to try some other wargame themed things, maybe things like objective markers or dice perhaps at some stage. I feel like that would be kind of cool. Again, I must admit I don't have the biggest grasp of how to make that happen myself though. In any case, if you're interested in giving one of those a try, there's a link down in the video description. In any case, I'll just about leave that there. As always, a massive thank you to you guys for watching, liking, subscribing and supporting. It is very cool to be able to do this as my main thing here on YouTube, and I'm always eternally grateful for that. Looking forward to lots more videos to make and other 40k things to cover in the months to come. 
I'll hopefully be uploading another video fairly shortly, should be within the next 12 hours or so. In any case, an absolutely massive thank you for listening. Feel free to check out the Patreon if you'd like to enter for the giveaways as mentioned, as well as the other benefits like names in the credits, seeing certain videos early or regular votes in polls and things. That's all linked in the video description below if you'd like to check it out. In any case, an absolutely massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.